<laughs> yes, let's get it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> really gonna do this. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today we're going green for some more TMNT 2012 reaction. Last time we left off, man, we found ourselves like getting thrown around which in what way by April's evil spirit possessing her body. You know, she had a sentient alien just wreaking havoc on everybody, which you know, that sounds so familiar, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to mutants and shit like that. But, you know, uh, she was able to overcome it. And I think, cause who had broke the, uh, the little thing? Was it her or was it somebody else? She broke it. Yeah, she ended up breaking the little uh, spiritual fork that was basically causing one of them damn angelic looking alien things that I guess went like uh, bad and got tainted and turned into this evil bat-like thing. You know, she was able to get it out of her system. You know, it was like a good detox. She was able to get the mess out of her system. Right, right. So, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that episode, man. Hoping we see more like that with other characters like Casey Jones. But you never know, man. I heard they, you know, they weren't able to just fully do everything that I guess they originally intended to do because, you know, there's so many characters to play with and so many toys, you know. So, um, yeah. But we're going to jump into this next episode, which is titled Toka versus the World. Okay. Who was Toka again? Wasn't that the giant turtle? Yeah. The planet sized turtle? But uh, here we go. <laughs> Keep your flame farts to yourself. Gross. Dude, you ever think about she how probably my supreme gasoline. His mom was like huge. Yeah, but that'll probably take like hundreds of space years or something. No. I feel bad about Chompy's mom. Me too. Donnie said there's probably no way anything could survive a supernova. Shit. Not even a giant cosmic monster like Toka. <laughs> well, at least the little Chompster has us for a family now. What if mom comes back though? That's exactly what I think is about to happen. She gonna like be mutated even more. Some kind of large UFO is making its way past Neptune at approximately 70 million miles an hour. That's more than half the speed of light. Well, is it the Krang or a Triceraton battleship? Neither, sir. Long-range scans indicate it's a giant living organism. And the trajectory is Earth. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It's Rita Repulsa. Turn the television to channel six right now. Hey. That's right, folks. <laughs> Protection Force have reported that a giant alien turtle is flying through our solar system. Its destination, Earth. I'd say pack your bags and head for the mountains, but who knows where this terrifying terrapin is going to make its horrifying home. The creature is coming for only one reason. Stay classy, for a special cameo. Chompy, your mom is alive, and she's coming to find you. She could tear through the entire planet searching for him, even if she means well. Well, that's easy. Yeah. We just get Chompy <laughs> back to her, and she leaves. I don't think that's what's going so ticked off, she destroys Earth anyway. I mean, we put that turtlezilla through a lot, and you know what I'm saying? So it'll be good if she landed she here when the right. crane will ram them up. Yes, you would do. I think this creature will not be pleased, even if we relinquish young Chompy without a fight. Even if Toka is peaceful. The militaries of the world are going to try and stop her any way they can. That might mean all-out kaiju war. Hell yeah. <laughs> Legendary Pictures presents a mutated giant slugfest of epic proportions. Okay, my boy. That monster is only a few hours away. Can't you ask your Utron pals to loan us some weapons? Okay. We have already allowed you. So the government already know. Earth must be able to stand on its own. However, it is imperative you do not attack the creature. Why? Why? Why this the version of the crane looks so smooth? Monsters of the known universe. Hmm. Attacking I say, why he looks so cool ranger. compared to the other Doesn't cranes? Even though he looks just like the other Don't crane, right? It's the way he moves, yes, less robotic. And them damn shades. She's mm -hmm. coming here for a reason. And I intend to find out what that reason is. So the question is, how can we return Chompy to his mom before she gets to Earth? If we could get our hands on a crank stealth ship, but the military seized them all. What about TCRI, dude? I saw tons of soldiers going in there. They've totally taken over the entire building. 
And if there's one place we're gonna break it into, it's TCRI. <gasps> Casey, that's a great right, idea. Right, you've been on the money, man. Rare, but Casey, today he's on it. Two good ideas in one day. Let's go, Casey man. Is the end of the world. Right. <laughs> Yes, let's get it. I <laughs> 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 really gonna do this shit. Oh, y'all wrong, man. Y'all doing slugs now. It's supposed to be a reference to that movie, 2014, when it was in the elevator, beatboxing. A vigilante on the front line. A superhero bit on, dude. They're like long gone already. MC Mikey. I bet you they're worried we're gonna mess up the mission. Nah, bruh. They just want their dopest fighters on lookout. Uh oh. <laughs> what? No way. We're the record dudes. I'm a handsome mutant, not a hideous Martian. <laughs> Move. I hope we pick the right one. I'm a little rusty. Let's see. First, I engage the grab equalizer. <laughs> There you go. Oh shit. Missed it by that much. You think they noticed? You think? <laughs> well, they just got everybody shooting at them. We gotta get to that other ship. Yeah, easier said than done. Ah, oh, that's right. Destroy what you don't understand. Real clever. Sir, the Martians have learned our language. They're adapting. Them out before they transform. Oh god. Wait, hold your fire. These are mutants, not aliens. Whoa! What are the Ultron doing here? I've become ambassador to Earth and am instructing the EPF on alien matters, helping your planet advance their defenses. So, um, I guess you know all about Toka. Indeed. You visited Toka's homeworld of Magnomar. Do you have any idea why she would be coming here? Magnomar. Um, maybe for this little guy? <laughs> Done. Do you know the catastrophe you brought upon this planet? Look, we thought Choppy's mom was destroyed by a supernova, pal. That's why we brought him home with us. Ralph, you usually the one with common sense. Juvenile to be trusted. But when it comes just to cute things, you just don't have a so brain. We return him before she gets here. No, the EPF and I will handle it. Now give me the Volcathian fire tortoise before I get angry. You are not touching him. Oh God. Yes, destroy the planet because of a freaking fire turtle. This guy's no alien. He's a mutant, old dude. What is your relationship to this mutant? I'm his friend. I'm his cousin, man. He's my sidekick in my mission to cleanse the city of evil. Hey, Casey, no offense, but you're more like our sidekick, dude. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere with this kid. Maybe we can learn something from the mutant alien. Uh, um, can we talk about this, scientist dudes? Sir, we just got word. The president has ordered an attack squadron of ET-9 fighters to intercept the alien monster. What? This cannot be. This Raph, you're making it worse. It's like, what is that gonna do? Not a goddamn thing. It's like, y'all gonna explode on impact from this fucking volcanic cause. That shit do clean, though. <laughs> Look at that. Listen to us. This is our fault. Let us fix it. Um, we do have more experience with a Vorkathian fire turtle than anyone else on Earth. You make a good point, Donatello. It is imperative to appeal to Toka without confrontation. It may be Earth's only chance. Go oh, quickly. Right. Get off of me! You've got grit, kid. That little stunt only delayed the examination. We're clear and clear. Let's get out there and find Toka before... She finds you. Right? <laughs> New York Just imagine Christmas. you go outside and see that. Right. It's getting hotter and shit. <laughs> hey, he getting hyped to see her. Mom, we're acting a fool. Daddy! probably has no idea Chompy is with us. How do you know for sure? Probably the wall of fire she's breathing out. 
Is it praying? Oh. What was all y'all at when the crane had this takeover? Nowhere. I guess he worked with him after that. Woo! This nigga doing Tekken moves on him. Chicken. Perfect. Honestly, I hate working here. They are so weird. <laughs> Why are you just running like the Woody from Toy Story? Order your units to fall back. Give Toka some space. They even have the same voice actors as the crane. Let's do this. You ready, little guy? <laughs> General Griffin. Yes, Bishop. Have your men stand down, or I'll take them down. Troops, show no mercy. Oh God. Yeah. Uh oh. <gasps> Go head up in this motherfucker. You keep on playing with me. Yeah. Come on, General. You know what I'm saying? You trying to save car insurance or you want to get your ass whooped? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Choppy having the time of his life over there. Why won't you breathe fire at him? You're gonna kill the baby! I don't think she can see it. Like any other time, she would see this little thing. Shit. Toka! It's Chompy! He's your baby! I, I was just trying to take care of him. I, I didn't know. Holy Please don't eat us. Please don't eat us. Please spare us. We thought you were gone. I thought Choppy was an orphan. Pretty sure she doesn't understand you, but she'll gladly take the baby and your planet. Right? <laughs> and your life. Right. Come on, Rap, hurry! I love you, little guy. I couldn't say it before, but you know you're my little buddy. Oh. Goodbye, Chompy Picasso. Chompy Picasso. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, <gasps> really? You want Chompy to stay here with me? Girl, you just done destroyed the whole fucking city. Right. And you gonna give me the baby anyway? Many civilians have perished because of your fucking mama temper tantrum. You done beat the general down. What is the general? Okay. General got a little bit of uh, grit up in him. The fuck? After this treachery, the treaty with Dimension X is over. The EPF is meant to protect mankind from danger, not terrorize them. Alien scum. This dude. <laughs> Hi, three. <laughs> huh? La la la. Hey. <laughs> 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 So, Mom, you just gonna leave the planet yeah. like that? Family reunion's over. Oh boy. Yeah. Right? All engines running, ready to just incinerate. I still want to keep him like that on this planet, though. Because you don't know. Tomorrow you could blink and he's as big as her. Right. What if it crawls into mutagen and makes shit even I think worse? I that's what's about to happen. Hey, good job, Dada Raph. You stared down one big space monster, dude. Don't call Tommy's mom a space. Don't call her a space. Come on now. 
Don't call it a comeback. She's been there for years. Hey, I'm just glad she's back in space. No doubt. One wrong sneeze and she could have wiped out all of humanity. Raphael, have you thought about what will happen when Chompy grows to full size? Right, what the fuck? may not be big enough to contain him. I think Chompy is destined to go back to the stars one day. But it's going to be a long time before that happens. Hey, isn't this a Kodak moment? <laughs> so Raph already got a kid. <laughs> right. Raph just taking on all these responsibilities, raising these damn destructive ass monsters. Alright. Disguised as babies and pets and shit. It's almost like they are like representative of him or something, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, he might be adorable, but I hope he, the baby he's don't get no damn mutagen. I don't know where you can keep an animal that big. I don't know either, man. I don't know what island you need to put it on, but. Yeah, well, um, hopefully, you know, like maybe, I don't think they'll show it. Like, like once the monster get big enough, he'll reunite with his mom or something and go terrorize the planet together and live happily ever after. <laughs> you know, what a daddy at? What a real daddy is, you know what I'm saying? A biological daddy. He just jumped up in some, you know what I'm saying? Got all up in mom's shell and just flew off somewhere else. That's what most dads do. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe like the the dad ain't as big as the mom, though, know, because that's how it be most of the right? time. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see that so many characters, like She probably animals. killed him afterwards. Right. You know, it's probably one of those things where he just go in and do his thug thizzle and then he just die, you know? <laughs> What if that's how humanity works? Hey, that would be fucked up on so many levels. It would. But, now that was a pretty good one. I'm like, what, why cause all that havoc and then just give the baby? Yeah, back? that's the thing. I'm like, man, take this, <laughs> take this damn baby. But I get an episode of A+. Plus. It was a good one. I would, I would give it an S if she had taken the baby, but it's like, girl, why do you do all that? I would give it an A+, a, a plus too. Yeah, but uh, anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and jump on to the next episode, man, which is going to be episode 24, man. We're getting close to the end of this season, y'all. This is going to be uh, called The Tale of Tiger Claw. Okay, so we're going to be seeing some more about him. Let's go ahead and do this. Master, I think you forgot your sword. Perhaps I don't need a sword. Would you hell, your leg can already heal? A drunken master style? Master Raid, is it in you? Damn. Oh shit, here y'all go. <laughs> I'm surprised they let them get away with this. I love this show. This show be doing the most. <laughs> Who? Santa Yo Ninja! <laughs> Mike, you be the main one burping. I don't want to like that. If they weren't so intimidated by him, he would, they would win. Huh? Of course. <laughs> there you go. He knew he said Rat belly flop, anyone? Oh, they got that from the damn movie we watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all must learn to hone your intuition. It's uh, probably what he be drinking when they get on his nerves. Strong ability to sharpen their intuition. Anger caused too much of Raphael's foresight. Donatello's too grounded in his rational mind. Only April's is near perfect. He coming! Where you say room for the Holy Ghost? The fuck? April, Sons of Anarchy? I... I had a premonition of some kind. There were these twin blades of... Casey, you need to be careful. Yeah, Very you do. careful. You can Casey help. Jones doesn't do care. Oh, God. Yep. Falls down the fucking sword drain. Your power levels yeah, are augmented, but definitely not as powerful as they were when you had the crystal. Yep, for patrol, April? We're searching for any new leads to help find Super Shredder's secret lair. I'm good to go. 
All right, Rap here with Casey, Mikey with me, April with Donnie. <laughs> How about some tunes? I just made a dope mixtape. Ooh, that is funky fresh beats. Listen to this. Funky fresh beats. <laughs> Rhino rock steady. Ever ever represent. Hey. <laughs> you two morons, be quiet. <laughs> Wow, you even he sees it. Hood, tiger claw. Just drive. What is that, uh, Sly uh, Cooper? It's somebody. That damn raccoon or something. You know, it's somebody. A tiger claw is afraid. Drop the blade, sweetheart. My name is Alapex Turtle Boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turtle Boy. It's Raphael. Now put him down. Well, Raphael, allow me to give you a history lesson on the Blades of Vengeance. Centuries ago, they were owned by twin sisters. <laughs> they used them against an evil warlord who had slain their family. The Blades cursed any man who was even scratched by their steel. Wow. <laughs> Boring. Or face justice. <laughs> Blame. Right. That is so out of character for you. What the heck? Looking for this? Oh. Who is this? Tail mouth. Right? It's like, is she a fox? A tanuki? All of this junk. That's it. <laughs> Did she grab his cup? Filthy normal. Ooh. April told y'all has to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Careful. careful. My name is Casey Drew. Man, she just did an ultimate jutsu on my nigga. Damn. <laughs> Y'all finna get cursed. Ah! What? He's here. Oh man, that smarts. Oh shit. So what is that, like a mark of death? Hello, Pex. Bang my tail like a trophy. I'm going to remove your head next. <laughs> Somebody can finally keep up with him. Exactly. <laughs> Got this nigga sweating. Peekaboo, I see you. Don't get involved. Get your ass whooped if you want to. Ugh. Cheating, man. Cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's your ass get. Four drop kick. Girl, I like how you was doing that. Trying to show it off a little bit. She was doing something. Alopex. I like that. It's like the name of the VCR player. Alright, yeah. You gotta be more careful. Wow. I didn't know you cared, Red. So what is it gonna be like an omen where he's just constantly gonna you know some final destination shit? Phew. Thanks, Rap. That was close. Yeah. Too close. Oh, so okay. check it out. The twin blades Alapex stole really are said to be cursed. But it doesn't say what the curse is. Because they are only known to ninja. These are the cursed blades of vengeance. A person wounded by them, even the smallest cut, will be cursed to fatal misfortune. Really? Death curse? For real? Oh, that's ridiculous. Why don't start choking I don't think so. Casey, this may sound weird, but your aura? It's just all kinds of wrong. <laughs> you should answer this ass? Oh, shit. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, it's the curse, dude. According to lore, the only way to reverse the curse is to use the blades on the one who inflicted the curse, passing it back to them. Then let's go fox hunting. So who is the Alopex Comrade Claw? Yeah, why are you so afraid of her, dude? I am not afraid of her. You is. It is much more complex than that. That you shook, boy. Listen well. 
we were children. I knew you used to be Steven Universe. In a small village mm -hmm. and thinking it was a magic door. Oh, wow. We entered. By the time you show how you became a tiger. The Krang mutated and experimented on us. But after many months of hardships, we escaped through a portal back to Earth. We were monsters now. We did not return home. We found refuge in a circus sideshow. Our skills were much too valuable. Soon we became top level assassins. Hey, top dog! We were notorious and feared. Someone told me they were friends first. Right. God damn it! You know she just love how this damn website's. And tried to kill me. This last of freeze during the action pack point. Although she escaped, I was certain the wounds I inflicted upon her were far too great for her to survive. I was wrong. <laughs> Alapex, give us the blades now. I oh, should be cursed in a second. All right. We don't want to hurt you. Believe me, you won't. Don't let it cut you. Well, don't do it. Oh. Case better stick this one out. <laughs> the fuck? What is going on? Oh. Is that Bebop? That's what we want to know. Talk. Oh. I'm on a mission to destroy the one mutant who ruined my life. Oh, she got his tail around her. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Brother, it's his fault we were mutated, and then he turned us to a life of crime. He made me do terrible things to people. Alapex, our sensei once told us revenge just leads to more pain. You ain't you. I want my brother to feel that pain. With these blades, I'll take more than his tail. We're not your enemy, Alopex. Please, help me live the curse. The only way is to use the blades against me or destroy the steel. And until I have my revenge against my brother, that will not happen. Well, you can't just let me just get a little nip off of you? Right, just let me just cut like a little piece of the tip of your tail off or something. This is the curse! This <laughs> counts, Catman Do. Get ready to pounce. Takeshi. Sister, before you attack, let us talk. No, Takeshi. The twin swords work. A worthy curse for a monster such as you. Hey, you know how you fight, Alex. I taught you how. Remember? You did, huh? I know the truth about our parents. You were responsible. You took everyone away from me. Oh, I was wondering what that was. He does say all kinds of booby traps on her. All I ever tried to do was protect you from a world that would never accept us. You leave me with no choice except to destroy you. I can't. Every time is a good part. <laughs> well, it's like they, this site is trolling us at this point. Chains off of me, this is the last time. Thank you. We helped save you. Now we need your help to save one of us. Huh? <laughs> 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 huh? Now you will all be destroyed. That's how you say it. That's how he do it. Yeah, did they get his horn? Yeah. Hey. There you go. It's not gonna look like we're going. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I hope my boy I right, man. This shit. <laughs> That's so cool. Right? I love this slow-mo. It's like a Save Casey montage. I got it! I did it! Your aura's looking good. 
Casey Jones. Check me out, yo. Casey Jones is cursed no more. What, what? Be funny, so I'm still laying on his head. Uh oh! We'll throw it back at him. That's clean! <laughs> yeah, take that, you frosted fleet. You're the only family I have left. Really? Walk away from your wicked path, or next time, there is no mercy. Mm. You've been warned. Nigga, don't even try it. Did he cut his arm off? It looks like it. Never forget. I could have taken your life. Bruh. Intensity. Oh you can my see the god. Meaning, man. <laughs> oh man, that's nasty, y'all. Tiger Claw will never forget this lesson. Yeah, and he'll never be able to clap again. Come on, team. <laughs> Let's Too soon. should have got both of them. It made Should've. it real useless to. Uh, but you know, train. Baxter would have probably made some kind of mechanical arm. Oh, okay, man, she was a, she was something to be reckoned with. Okay, right? She gonna be sticking around for the remainder of these seasons, y'all. Well, that was the tale I of like Tiger her. Claw, man. Yeah, that was I loved her. Yeah, I'm gonna get that an S. That I gets too. an S right there because like the, I was not ready. I wasn't either. It's like you got that part with them trying to save Casey in the slow mo. I really love that part. Um, and her just cutting off that man's arm. Real. It's like, damn, you done cut the man's tail. You, now you done cut his arm. Uh, you ain't gonna be um, eating cereal while you're watching Saturday morning cartoons with that arm anymore, man. If he tried again, <laughs> 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 probably cut his head off. I wonder if they'll show that. For real, like that face that she got there is like, try me if you want to. Try me if you want <laughs> to. Like, I would have been mad at Tiger Claw for turning to evil. Mm. But I wouldn't even say unless there's more to the backstory. I wouldn't say he's the one who got you mutated. Y'all were kids; you didn't know any better to walk right. through a shiny door. You know. I guess his path of just unlawfulness and shit. Just that's kinda... what I'd be mad about. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out though. He say or she says that. Well, I think he said that he trained her. But I'm yeah. like, she seems more masterful with all the well, techniques. Probably because her abilities are better than his. It's like this nigga just seems like. Oh, all hands on with like just weaponry and stuff. It's like not in terms of martial arts. Plus, he he's a cat. He had nine lives. It was taking him forever to die. And even still, she could have killed him right there, and she didn't. Yeah. And then he gonna try to shoot her. Like, <laughs> like nigga, you do you think she's stupid? She knows your ways. That's like uh, you lucky she ain't find something to make out of that arm, just like she did your damn tail. She could have used that as a hat. So she could have made some house shoes out of his damn clothes. Hell. <laughs> but yeah S man for that, S double S man um, but that's going to do it for us today guys we really really enjoyed that episode man that was very interesting seeing his origin story if there's anything we may have missed or got missed and screwed by all means provide the proper context in the comment section below and I promise we will get back to you but this is your boy RBG my lovely wife Johnny Lee we into the reactions we'll catch you guys in the next reaction to TMNT 2012 Peace.